Hello everybody and welcome to this video where we are going to be talking about Making the Rounds by Lennart Bruce. I wonder if that's how you pronounce that. Lennart. Maybe that's how it is. Okay, this is a beautiful chapbook from 1967 by Kayak Books. Here we go. Making the Rounds, poems. Um, again, this is 1967, as I already said. Um, some of these poems have previously appeared in Kayak, The Gas Cock Collector, Showcase, The Alameda Sun, Manhattan Review, and Macarus from Durham, England. Okay? Um, these poems... I like how they are written, okay? He's got a lot of poems about what happens when he's waking up. And a lot of poems about dreams he has. This is a short poem I'll just read to you real quick. It's called My Next Door Neighbor. So close to me, wall to wall, only plaster divides us. His cat and I start playing. We never see each other. Just run back and forth, each on his side of the wall. We run back and forth, turning abruptly in the corners. That's it. And he's got this weird poem about a mirror. It's called The Mirror. I'm broken up in fragments as I enter it. I'm tossed around, turned, twisted, into my opposite, my anti-self. The only self I'll ever see, have ever seen. I guide the scissors to cut a thread sticking out from my ragged collar. But they go by. I fix my eyes on it, and yet I miss. Again and again. Somebody stands behind me and guides my hand past it. So, it's just a beautiful book with awesome, weird pages of art. Um, one thing that was funny is that the, um, the page numbers get all fucked up. It goes from, wait, let's see, I don't know, I can't find it now. But it basically ha goes from, like, page 39 to page 36, and then a little bit later we hit 39 again, but it's a different page 39. Anyway, the thing about this, this that was the most interesting was the author bio at the end here. Lennart Bruce was born in 1919 in Stockholm, Sweden. After schooling and military service, he traveled to Buenos Aires to conduct his own fruit brokerage business. Returning to Stockholm in 1947, he became one of Sweden's largest dealers in fresh fruit, head of a chain of supermarkets, and board member of Frankenfurlen AB, Sweden's main fruit retailing chain. As a financier, he was also head of Gore Bruce AB, an investment firm working in undeveloped countries. In 1960, he left Europe for West Africa, where he started Liberia's first public transport company. He was also the head of Monrovia Cold Storage Training, Trading Corp, the Bruce Trading Company, and the Swedish African Milk Company the first milk reconstitution plant in Liberia. In 1963, he closed his commercial career and moved to the United States and commenced a second life as a poet writing in the Eng English language. He lives in San Francisco with his wife, Sonia, and is currently, transla and is currently translating his own work into Swedish. What the fuck, dude? Okay, this guy is like global fucking mega man. And he's like, eh, I'm going to be a poet. Yeah, so there were 400 copies of this made. Goddamn, that is fucking hysterical. So, um, very fucking interesting guy. He's had more companies than you could shake a stick at. Um, but yeah, so, interesting. So, what do you think? Let me know down below. And has anyone read any other stuff from this guy? Like, this is just boggling my fucking mind right now. Los Angeles, a um, few copies of this left. Potato Manifesto, still got a couple of those left. 
keep buying my books, type hard, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Creo and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys, and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the career of the Anarchy Creo, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.